making Alfredo sauce, and I just thought that I would show you some tools that I use. These are our Fabulous Forge knives. Um, I didn't do anything exciting with it. I just sliced a piece of butter for my Alfredo. I have just cooked chicken in here. That's the browns bits that you see. Um, the forge knives are amazing. They are full tang, which means metal goes all the way through. They are made with paca wood, which is just gorgeous and really sturdy. Um, and the most exciting thing is that they are have a lifetime guarantee. So, if you ever use the tip of your knife to open a jar, you would never do that, would you? And the tip breaks off, you can call me or call Pampered Chef and they will replace it. Um, if anything ever chips because you're cutting something you shouldn't be cutting with a knife, you can call Pampered Chef and replace it. You don't ever have to buy new knives. I will be adding a bit of garlic into the Alfredo sauce with our amazing garlic press. You'll notice that I put that piece of garlic, clove of garlic in with the peel on. And I'm just gonna pop the peel out with a little tool. This tool is also perfect for cleaning the press. It fits under here into the holes. So it pops up all of the, the little pieces. Um, this peels of the garlic, I throw into my broth bag in the freezer. So when I make broth, there's lots of yummy garlic flavor. Uh, in that bag I also have celery ends, carrot peels, onion ends. We like lots of garlic around here. My husband actually farms garlic. So we have an endless supply. I'm also going to add some to my dressing in a second. But first, I need to whisk it around in this butter and get some flour in here before my butter browns. These are our glass prep bowls. This is the one cup size. We use these for everything. For snacks, for prepping, for measuring, for taking things on the go. We have little um, white plastic lids. We even use them when we have cake batter or brownie batter, that's just too much for whatever we're making. You can throw them in the oven. They're oven safe up to 350 and just bake off that extra batter. All right, so if you've never made Alfredo, this is called a roux. You are pretty much cooking the flour in the butter and you don't want chunks but you also don't want it to be liquid. It is what will thicken the milk and cream to make the Alfredo. So I'm gonna let that cook for just a moment. And show you our measure, mix, and pour really quick. I, um, we use this for dressing almost every day. So I've already, there are recipes on the side. Tonight I'm making a red wine Dijon vinaigrette. I have some seeded mustard, some Dijon mustard, maple syrup, salt, red wine vinegar, and olive oil. And I'm just gonna add a clove of garlic in there. And this guy has a spiral whisk on the bottom. You see some of the Dijon is sitting there. Make sure that the opening is turned away from the spout and pump it a few times. And you have a beautiful Dijon vinaigrette. This is one of our favorite dressings. And we will, we are just four people, so we will not use all of this tonight, but we'll put it in the refrigerator closed. Um, so that we can have it for salad tomorrow. I'm going to head back to my sauce and add some cream. Sometimes I'm a bit of a wing it cook, so I don't measure stuff. That is the case with Alfredo. <laughs> So 
So this is going to thicken. And once it's thick, I will add some Parmesan. We have several graters for Parmesan. Um, well, we have several graters in general, I guess. We have the multi-slicer grater. We have the adjustable graters um, in two different sizes. But I don't tend to use that for Parmesan. I use the smaller one for nutmeg, chocolate sometimes, and I use the larger holes for cheddar or Monterey Jack mozzarella. Um, for Parmesan, I really love my zester, and the reason for that is that you don't tend to use a lot of Parmesan because it's just for flavor. It's not necessarily for melting most of the time. So I'm making a huge mess now. I'm going to run to the fridge and grab some milk. To thin this out a bit, I'll be right back. Sorry about my children in the background. They won't be getting dinner. I'm kidding. So I'm going to whisk this until it's smooth. And then I like to pull it off the heat to shred the Parmesan in. And I don't typically salt Alfredo until I'm almost done because Parmesan is quite salty. So you never know what, how much salt you might need based on how much Parmesan you put in. But I just salt by taste most of the time anyway. So I've uh, seared off chicken, as you saw, some chicken breast cubes, as you saw my pan before. I also blanched a little bit of broccoli, and my husband is quite the pasta maker, so I'm going to put this over fettuccine that he has made. in now so you don't have to listen to my children screech for very long. So this is, actually it's Pecorino, regardless. This is my zester and it's super fast and super sharp. I use this obviously for zest, orange, lemon, lime, grapefruit. Uh, actually we made amazing Easter cake for Easter. Um, my husband's Polish so we make Easter babka every year which is a bundt cake. And we used orange zest, lime zest, and lemon zest in the cake, and it was so good. You see that little pile that we're making? It's really fast. It's also good for chocolate shavings and ginger, great for ginger. I think that's probably enough to flavor. So I'll whisk it in, let it come to a bubble to make sure that the flour is has thickened it as much as it can, and then we will serve it with our chicken and broccoli and noodles. 